Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my August TBR or all the books that I plan to read in August. I can't believe it's August already. July just flew by. I felt like May and June were pretty slow months but July just like went by so quickly. I I don't want summer to end but I'm, I'm excited for August because it'll be a nice month again. I'm also going to see Barbie this evening if you can't tell by my obnoxiously pink sweater. I already had it. I didn't buy it for Barbie but it works really well for it don't you think? So without further ado let's just hop into the video. I'm gonna warn you some of these books have been on my old TBRs and I just haven't gotten to them yet but for the most part I think I have did pretty good last month sticking to my TBR at least I hope so. So the first book I have on here is All Good People all Good People Here by Ashley Flowers. Ashley Flowers is actually one of those ho the hosts of, I think, Crime Junkie, one of the true crime podcasts. So I'm really excited to read her take on a true crime thriller kind of book. It also is my book club pick, so I'm really excited for that because like, because we haven't done a thriller or mystery or anything like that before. So I'm excited to see what everyone thinks about it. And I'm excited myself. So I think this one will be interesting. I don't know how well the writing is going to transfer. And I don't know how I feel about true crime thrillers. Like I just don't, I don't really know what to think. But is it going to be based on a true story? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about this book other than I know the author. So yeah, uh, that's the first book. <laughs> okay, and the next three books are the next three books in the Eden series. I do not have Crimson River yet, but if I actually get through these two, I will order it. But I'm trying to, I'm on a bit of a book buying ban for myself because I have a very large physical TBR. But anyways, these have been on my TBRs like every single month of the entire year and it's over halfway through the year and I still have not gotten to them but I'm hoping I can get to it this month. I'm really in the mood for a romantic suspense like a bunch of romantic su suspense books so I think that these will be perfect for that. I also just absolutely loved the first three books in this series so and I've heard that this one is some people's either favorite. This one's very divisive. It's either everyone's favorite or at least favorite because of the angst in it. So I'm excited to see where I land. I usually love a ton of angst. So I imagine that it will be, I'll land on the like love it side, but we'll see. Okay, so the next book is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I can't believe I have not read this yet. Part of Your World was one of my favorite books of the year last year and the fact that I still have not gotten into this even though it has gotten such rave reviews from everyone on booktube and bookstagram. I don't know how I haven't read it. I've heard the anxiety rep wrap in this book is really well done so I'm excited about that and I really liked Brianna's character in the first book so I'm really happy that she's gonna get her own love story and I have never not loved a Abby Jimenez book so I'm sure I'm gonna love this one and I feel like it's also like a perfect summer end of summer read. Okay and the next book is another like fluffy romance. It's The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. Um, this is the second book in the Mr. Wrong Number series. This will also help me on my goal to bring down the number of series I have currently ongoing. I've heard really good things about this one. I, a lot of people actually liked this one a lot more than they liked the first one and I did really like the first one. It has the had the like texting and everything in it which I, I always think is really fun in book. I don't think this one has it though. No it doesn't look like it has it and I honestly don't know really anything about this book. I remember it was on one of my most anticipated reads of a month one time and I still have not read it but I think basically they um go on a date and they decide that they're not compatible so they help each other they help each other find love and I think the first one it's they did like a love wager because like the first one to find love wins something I can't remember what but yeah, so, and I, I love Lynn Painter's writing, so I'm sure I love, I'll love i love this. I I actually prefer her young adult books usually, but I'm excited about this adult one. Okay, and the next books on here are All the Lies and Paint It All Red by S.G. Abbey, I, so that I can finally finish the Mind F series, Mindfuck series. Um, I have been 
on going with this series for forever. I don't know why I do really want to continue it, but for some reason I just never gravitate towards picking it up on my Kindle, even though I absolutely loved the first couple. Um, and then I just took a break for some reason from reading them and then never got back to them. So I actually thought these ones have the audio on Scribd. So I think that hopefully that'll be the way that to convince me to read them. I know they're also like I could also read them on my Kindle. So there's like options for me. So I could hopefully read them this month. I'm thinking of actually doing a reading vlog where I'm finishing some series because if you have been here a while, you've heard me say in pretty much every single freaking video that I have a lot of series that I have ongoing and I really need to cut that list down. So I figured that might be a good way to actually cut down that list is actually to just do a video on it. So I think I'm going to do that with this one and another series. I'm not sure which one yet though. Okay, and the next book is Beyond the Veil by Carolyn Peckham and Suzanne Valenti. This is the 8.5 book in the Zodiac Academy series. I love the Zodiac Academy worlds that they've built. I, I, it's just so much fun. And I, although this is like a novella book, it's over 400 page in it, pages and it just came out in August. So I think this might be like able to scratch the itch until the ninth one comes out because I don't even think that there's been a any sort of date released on when that's going to be to finish up this series. So I'm looking forward to having like go stepping back into that world for a little bit because I did miss I miss the characters and everything. So I'm excited about this one. Okay, and the next book is Forever and Ever by Lucy Score. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm in a romantic suspense mood. So I've heard that this one's a really good romantic suspense. Um, I liked the Knockabout series. Oh, well, the first book I played. still not finished the rest of the books in that series. So that could have been on this TBR, but I didn't put it. Um, but this one is a standalone and I've heard good things about it. So, and I really do like Lucy Score's writing from what the books that I have read by her. So I'm excited to read this one, even though it's over 500 pages long. I don't know how a contemporary romance is going to be 500 pages long, but she did it with things we never got over. So I'm sure she can do it in this book as well. And the next books are Stoneheart and Radiant Sin by Katie Robert. That's the 0 0.5 book and the fourth book because the fifth one book book actually comes out this month. So I want to get, get caught up on the series. And I really want to read the prequel novella because I've, I haven't, because I've just been wanting to read more like of the 0.5 books in series because I usually just ignore them but I kind of want to read them for some of my favorite series. So I'm going to read that one and then Radiant Sin so that I'm all caught up for when the fifth book comes out. I think it's called Cruel Seduction. The fifth one comes out I think it's like halfway through the month so hopefully I'll get caught up on that series finally. And then I really want to read the Dreamland Billionaire series by Lauren Asher. I've been wanting to read these books for years and I think that I'm finally going to do it this month. I'm going to read all three of them. The I think I'm going to listen to them on audio just because that's easier for me to get to. I've heard really good things and I just want, the, the like the last one came out in January. I want to be caught up on this series. I want to see what everyone's talking about because everyone loves Lauren Asher's writing and I've never read anything by her. So I hope that I will love this series. The next book is Play Along by T.L. Swan. This is another romantic suspense book. Uh, like I, I, I put a lot of romantic suspense books in, on here just because I'm like, I don't know why I'm kind of in that mood, even though it is so not summery at all that mood, but that's the mood I'm in. So I'm leaning into it and just enjoying it. So I don't know anything about this other than I think it's romantic suspense. I think it might be like mafia a little bit too, but I don't know. I read the, some of the books in the Miles Hi series by Tales One, and like they're not my favorite, so I'm like looking forward to reading another book by her. See if like maybe it's just not my her writing is just maybe not my style, or what, or maybe I'll really like this one and the I'll finally continue with the rest of the books in that series because maybe it was just the first three that 
I didn't love them. Okay, the next book is Dukes of Peril by Angel Lawson and Samantha Rue. This is the sixth book in the Royals of Forsyth University series, and it's the third book in the Dukes, like, little trilogy within that. So I will finally be able to finish the Dukes and then move on to the Princes, which I think all three of those books should be done by the end of the year. I actually did read the two book, other two books in the Dukes part in a reading vlog back in like, I think like January or February. And I didn't continue with the series because the audio for this one wasn't out, but it is out now. Although I don't know if I'll actually listen to the audio or not, or I'll read the Kindle version of it, but we'll see. Because... <laughs> It is really dark, so it's, I find really dark romances easier to listen to rather than read because when I'm reading it, if it's super dark, like a super dark part, I tend to just keep putting it down rather, but like if I am listening to the audio, like I can just like work through it. Does that make sense? Anyways, I want to read that one. <laughs> and the next book is The Way I Hate Him by Megan Quinn. Um, I really like Megan Quinn's books, especially for like a summer read. Her books are very rom com -y. They're always hilarious. This one is a new release that comes out August 1st and it sounds really good. Like it is ex-boyfriend's boss slash her boss, like workplace. And it just, and she, on her Instagram she like showed that she built a little map for it and it looks so cute. It's small town. It's I'm really excited about that one and I think it's a good fluffy it'll it sounds like it's gonna be a good fluffy light romance for in between all of the romantic suspense that I'm going to be reading. Okay and then speaking of light and fluffy books I also put a YA book on here. I put Reggie and Delilah's Hero Falling by Elise Bryan because I don't know I uh, YA books are easy for me to read in the summer and the audio book of this is on script so I thought it might be a good option to put on my TBR for when I'm feeling something very light or like a nice palette palette cleanser kind of book. Okay and last but not least is Right Guy Wrong Word by Julie Ann. This is a Julianne's writing is usually like very angsty and I love that but I actually have heard that this might be a rom-com so I'm interested to see how Julianne does with a rom-com and I usually love her books. This is another one that's releasing at the beginning of the month so I have plenty of time to read it once it comes out. I think it's going to be on Kindle Unlimited when it does come out but if not we'll see. Okay, and those are all the books that I'm planning on reading in the month of August. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make it to the end. Let me know in the comments down below what is one book that you're really looking forward to reading or if you've read any of the books that I have on my TBR, tr convince me to read them and actually stick to my TBR in the comments, please. <laughs> um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.